The General Secretariat of the Shura Council, in cooperation with Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, held a dialogue session on the legislation of the education sector. In the presence of Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh, the session discussed the policies and strategic plans of the Ministry of Education for the years 2023-2026 and its services and programs. It also discussed the quality of education in public and private schools, digital empowerment in education and education sector legislation, and keeping pace with international developments. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Jum'a, stressed the importance of strengthening communication between the legislative and executive authorities to achieve the government's goals in education, praising the Shura Council's effective cooperation with the Ministry of Education. He praised the efforts of the BIPD under the leadership of the chairman of its board of trustees, Dr. Ali Ramehi, in providing political awareness programs and enhancing citizens' culture in various fields. He briefed the members of the Shura Council on the rules of the Ministry in light of the law, including operating public schools, organizing private schools, setting their own regulations and supervising them. For her part, the Vice Chairman of the BIPD Board of Trustees, Dr. Sheikh Amayel Atebi, reviewed a number of exper or experiments that were successfully applied at Bahrain Bayan School to enhance community interaction with the educational process. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhru, emphasized the significant attention given to the industrial sector and the commitment to encouraging national industri industries and providing innovative solutions to enable it to continue its role in boosting economic growth rates. He affirmed uh, the support provided by the Kingdom to enhance the investment environment and pointed out the package of initiatives that the Ministry, in collaboration with key partners in the industrial system, has offered for the prosperity and development of the sector, which benefited various national National companies over the years. This came as uh, received uh, the chairman of Awal Gulf Industries, Talal Zin, and other board members and company officials to discuss the company's current situation and the latest developments related to its restructuring and organization plans. Fakhru was briefed on the efforts made by the company in 2018 to restructure and achieve sustainability across its various operations and protect its employees. The Labour Ministry underlined its keenness to play its role in regulating the relationship among uh, production parties while taking the necessary measures to provide support to workers in accordance with advanced labour regulations and legislations that are compatible with international labour laws. The Ministry said that providing job security and stability for the national workforce tops its priorities, stressing that uh, the government's policies that attract investment have enhanced the stability of the labour market in the Kingdom, which is increasingly generating job opportunities for citizens. The Board of Trustees of uh, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence uh, convened its first meeting under the chairmanship of Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The board chairman and members extended a profound thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the precious uh, royal trust trust bestowed upon them. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed affirmed that the center will carry on its humanitarian role and all-inclusive mission as a leading global institution in order to consolidate the values of tolerance and coexistence and promote dialogue among various uh, religions and cultures. Guided by His Majesty the King's sound visions and directives and supported by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He indicated that the meeting coincides with the annual celebration of World Inter Faith Harmony Week, which reinstates the Kingdom's position as a land of harmony, as it embraces everyone in peace and love without discrimination. The Board of Trustees discussed the topics on its agenda, including improving the Center's work system and highlighting its role as a beacon of noble values and creative ideas, as well as an intellectual center for enhancing human understanding, translating the values enshrined in the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration into sustainable institutional work, establishing fruitful partnerships, deepening awareness towards combating intolerance, hatred and racism, as well as developing appropriate solutions to address these uh, scourges. The importance of launching influential and in innovative programs and projects that reflect the Kingdom's unique reality and leading role in establishing the values of tolerance, peace and respect for others, highlighting the royal vision aimed at promoting a religious freedom and building bridges of communication and cultural rapprochement for the best interests of the people of the world. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain places great importance on the financial and banking sector through the launch of numerous initiatives and programs and the provisions of an en enabling environment to ensure its continuous development. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has achieved comprehensive developmental progress across various sectors, including the financial and banking sector. The government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, has prioritized and provided full support to the financial sector by creating the environment for its growth, positioning Bahrain as a center for attracting and hosting renowned regional and international banks and financial institutions. The financial and banking services sector contributes largely to Bahrain's national economy, and it is among the six priority sectors in Bahrain's economic recovery plan, which aims at invigorating and diversifying the economy. Bahrain enjoys a robust and stable financial system that keeps pace with the requirements of the era and supports comprehensive development paths. And by effectively implementing principles of governance, risk management, and keeping abreast of technological advancement, Bahrain demonstrated its ability to seize opportunities and develop innovative solutions that result in significant advancements in technological aspects, adopting the latest capabilities to support technology, including those associated with financial financial services and leveraging them to expand the scope of financial and banking products and services. And over the past five decades, the banking and financial services sector in Bahrain has undergone remarkable transformations, which supported sustainable development and economic diversifications within the kingdom and resulted in the cultivation of a highly skilled workforce. Today, Bahrain stands as a leading player in the global financial arena, well positioned for continuous progress and success in the future. The National Health Regulatory Authority, NHRA, or NAHRA, has authorized the use of the Monjaro terzipatide injection, which contributes to reducing the level of cumulative blood sugar according to the licensing mechanisms in force in the kingdom. The NAHRA said the move is within the framework of the kingdom's keenness to provide all medications that contribute to the treatment of chronic diseases related to obesity and diabetes. The NAHRA indicated that the Monjaro injection is available in the kingdom's pharmacies and should be be used in accordance with the medical prescriptions and after undergoing the necessary medical examinations, adding that Bahrain is among the first countries to provide this medicine in its markets. The Nahra added that the uh, Munjaro injection has been licensed as it is one of the effective injections for treating type 2 diabetes, noting that it contributes to lowering A1C and losing weight. The Nahra underlined its keenness to conduct in-depth studies on all medicines and pharmaceuticals, as well as ensure their safe use within the scope determined by the health authorities in the kingdom. The executive advisor at the Sheikh Nasser Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Center and chairman of the Global Artificial Intelligence Group, Dr. Jassim Hajji, presented Bahrain's pioneering and advanced experience in artificial intelligence applications, which came during Bahrain's participation in the Oman AI Summit 2024. Speaking at the summit, Dr. Hajji emphasized the importance of Bahrain's presence in such gatherings, particularly within the participation of over 200 specialists in the field of artificial intelligence and advanced technologies from various countries around the world. The summit it aims to support development and innovation in the field of artificial intelligence, encouraging participants to present new solutions and innovations showcasing the latest technologies and innovations in the field of artificial intelligence and analyzing the best investment strategies in this field.